Boker Tov, good morning. We continue with that for many days of Torah. Looking this week at Parshat Truma, at least at the beginning of the week, Parshat Truma, where um, people are asked to make contributions to the Mishkan, the effort to build the Mishkan. So listen to what's on the list. Vezot HaTruma, Asher Tikhu Meitam. These are the gifts that you should be collecting from people. Zahav, Vachesef, Unachoshet. That's the first thing on, that's the first Pasuk. Gold and silver and copper. Uh, when you get to Parshat Vayakel and the collection of these items, there we have um, a specific chain, a terminology that's used for each of these. When it came to the gold, we're told, Kol Nadiv Lev Heviu. Everyone who was, um, who was generous of heart brought them. You need special generosity to bring your gold. And specifically, the Torah that describes that people were bringing their jewelry. They had gold because they had jewelry. Earrings and nose rings or whatever else they had, that's what they brought and other, and other trinkets. Then, silver and copper, um, there we talk about a different phrase. People who are ready to contribute. Call, trum, call meirim trumat kesef on a koshed. Anyone who was ready to give that contribution. Because presumably they had vessels, um, again, we know from even from Egypt that there were gold and silver vessels, but let's presume they had silver and copper vessels they got from the Egyptians. It wasn't the personal jewelry, it was these items. Then the Torah, though, continues. The next pasuk here. Utechelet v'argaman v'tolad shani v'sheish v'izim. I want you to bring here these uh, these colors. Utechelet is this, is uh, like an indigo colored and purple and scarlet wool and linen and goat hair, and then we're told, right, and red, red dyed ram skins and tacha skins, and continues, Varote lima damim, Varote chashim shitim. These red dyed ram skins and tacha skins and acacia wood. And then we get into oil, which is more likely. Now we're talking about something different. Now we're talking about um, these fine fabrics, and um, you know royal colored garments that there were and the yarns that they have, and then we got acacia wood, and now we got to figure out what's going on here. Why do people have those things? In fact, the Torah then will describe in Vayakel v'chola sharenin saito anybody who happened to have in their possession right such things. Um, so we got to figure out why would people have these things? It's not likely that people would have them. Where is this coming from? That's what we want to analyze. God willing, tomorrow, you think about this a little bit, and tomorrow we'll try to pick it up with, uh, with some in- insights as well. Have a great day.